Hi guys, so today's video is going to be on how to dye your hair this steel grey shade. This is a really sought after hair colour at the moment that there aren't that many dyes that can achieve it and a lot of the time it tends to be like a very bluey grey. I know that I've been searching for a while to find something and I'm really happy to say I've actually found it. So the dye that I used is actually one that I believe is quite new. It's a proper professional like hairdressing dye but you can buy it online. Um, if you like have the skills to do it yourself. Um, if not, you can always ask your hairdresser to go get the dye and do it for you. I did it myself. Um, so the dye that I used is actually the Schwarzoff Igora Royal Absolute Silver Whites and I used Slate Grey. Now, when I was looking these up, there were very few videos on them and very few after photos. And um, particularly for Slate Grey, I couldn't find anything. So I thought that I would make a video so that you guys can see how it turns out. And um, this actually I used a slightly different mix than what you're supposed to. So you're supposed to use 3% developer with this. You buy the dye and the developer and I will link where I got it down below. Um, I actually got 9% by mistake because I thought that was what you needed. So what I did, I used one part dye, one part developer and one part water to, to dilute it. Um, which actually worked out really well in the end because I got the shade that I wanted anyway. And it actually meant that I had um, more like mix, more dye. I mean, this only just covered my hair as it is. As you can see, it is a little bit patchy um, because it only just had enough dye to go over all my hair, which obviously isn't very long, but it is quite thick. Um, so if you have like thick or long hair, I would definitely recommend getting two things of dye and two things off developer, or you can try diluting it, but obviously you do want to stick to the instructions as much as possible. And so anyway, I'm gonna jump into the tutorial now showing you how I achieved this hair. So yeah, I hope you enjoy. So this is what the dye looks like and this is what the developer looks like. Now you can buy large bottles of the developer but I decided to go with the 16ml one as that means it's one part dye, one part developer and next time I buy it I'll probably buy a large bottle of developer to save money but obviously I didn't want to do that without knowing the dye was good. So to start off with I'm just puncturing the dye bottle and then pouring that into a mixing bowl and then I'm adding in the developer and squeezing that all out and then I go back and I fill it up with water so that it's one part of everything and pour the water into the mix and then using a tint brush I'm just mixing it up until it turns into this sort of like mixture consistency type thing. So here I am looking incredibly sexy with absolutely no makeup and an old vest top on. So basically I'm brushing through my hair and then I'm starting off with the ends of my hair. So the instructions say to do the length of your hair and then 10-15 minutes later go in and do your roots. So I feel like for most people once you finish doing the ends of your hair it's time to go back in and do your roots. So I'm starting from the top because I was worried I wouldn't have enough mixture. Normally I would start, start at the bottom but I wanted to make sure obviously the top of my hair was dyed because... I feel like you can get away with the bottom of your hair not dyed, but yeah, the top would be very obvious. So that's where I start off. So I paste it all over and then I section it out into about an inch worth of hair. And then I'm just using this against my hand to spread the rest of the dye. And I do this all over my head. And then, yeah, I mean, I'm not sure where I was going with that. I just spread it all over my hair. So this hair dye was really easy to use. In the tub it was like a white consistency and then the moment you put it on your hair it started to get darker and darker purple which meant that it was really great in having a guide colour so you could see where it was done and where it wasn't. As you can see there's a huge difference between where I'm applying it and where it's already been on for quite a while. It went very dark. So this was really useful. I also found that it spread very very easily but once again I did dilute mine with water which you won't need to do if you buy the correct developer. So I feel like that probably made it a lot easier to spread. So here I am again with the ends of my hair completely covered in dye. So now I'm just sectioning my hair exactly as I did before. I have put um, dye on my fringe first though and I'm just going in in the same order that I did last time and putting the dye onto my roots. So I figure the time, by the time I get round to the other side of my hair it will have been on for about 10 or 15 minutes. And then with the little bit of dye that I had left at the end, I just took that back through the underside of my hair, which I'd put less dye on, and just checked around the back to make sure if I'd missed any bits, which there were quite a few. Um, so yeah, I just basically put it on and really made sure that my hair was as saturated with the dye as possible. And then yeah, I left it on for about 20 minutes, 15, 20 minutes, and then I showered it off. That was how I achieved this grey hair. I washed it off after 20 minutes and when I washed it off in the shower it ran off like as like grey whereas normally grey dyes run off as like blue or purple but this literally ran off like 
dark grey which was really grey. I washed it twice with purple shampoo um, because in the shower it literally looked like black. I was really panicking um, thinking that I'd like accidentally dyed it black but it turned out into this shade which I really really love. Um, so yeah I will let you know how it lasts up. If you um, subscribe to my videos and obviously you will see as the weeks progress um, how the dye is holding up whether it fades a lot or whether it stays whether it transitions into a different colour but right now I'm really really happy with this shade. Um, I'm so glad that I took the risk using a dye even though I couldn't see the results anywhere. So yeah let me know um, if you enjoyed this video, let me know if any of you have used this dye before or if you're now planning on it. I would seriously recommend it and yeah I will see you in my next video.